Hi guys, this is Jan. Welcome to the first video in 3D Quick Tip series. And in this one, I will show you how to properly set up Keyshot to show the proper ZBrush polypaint information. The problem is that ZBrush by default bakes the polypaint into the texture together with the shading information. And that's the reason why our character, even in the super bright environment, is getting really dark. If I compare flat color in ZBrush and flat shader in Keyshot, it should be the same, but it's not. You can obviously see that our shading information is baked in. So how do we fix that? Go to the material editor and change the texture map to vertex color. Our shading already disappeared, however brightness is wrong. So right click in the node graph, go to utilities and add the color adjust. Connect the node and change the contrast to 2. I don't exactly know why 2, but I did some testing and the 2 is proper value. Right now our colors are exactly matching between ZBrush and Keyshot. So when I switch this back to advanced, add a little bit of specular to make it nicer and apply that shader to all our objects, we see that this result looks way better, way more physically correct, which actually is because Keyshot is using physically based lighting and physically based shaders. So this is the way how to properly set up polypaint in Keyshot. With this approach, even though you change the polypaint or the model in Keyshot, you don't have to worry about switching the shaders all around, changing materials. This will be exactly as you expect right now. And that was the first 3D quick tip. If you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. See you next time.